Hi everyone, today I have something very special to share. Um, it's all about how to take your favorite filter and turn it into the most extreme version of itself. So let me give you an example. I have a liquid filter here and just listen to this. And notice that the resonance is barely halfway through, not even close. And yet we're cutting these overtones like some kind of razor sharp tool. So what is happening here is I'm running this liquid filter through what I called a polyphonic loop. And as a result, the signal that comes from that goes that comes from this this VCO goes through this filter 16 times before you can hear it. So as a result, to give you, give you um, some kind of perspective, what we're doing here is essentially equivalent to something like this. And I would keep, you know, I would, I would keep going. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And liquid filter is not even the, the biggest module. There are, there are modules that take more space. So imagine now patching all of this and then um, either controlling um, a cutoff frequency from CV or mapping uh, some uh, uh, MIDI to, uh, to each of these knobs because in order for this to work, everything has to be the same. So this contraption becomes really, um, ugly very quickly and with uh, with the use of polyphony in vcv rack we can instead just do three modules filter and two other modules so i'm going to uh, try uh, show you how to set it up uh, from scratch so let's say you had this filter and uh, I notice how different it sounds now. And um, in order to convert it to this extreme version, in order to run it 16 times, you need um, you need uh, two objects, the uh, two modules, merge and split. Next, instead of going straight to filter, you go through first input of merge, then merge goes into your filter. It can be, by the way, remember, it can be any filter that handles polyphony. It doesn't have to be a liquid filter. And then instead of going uh, straight to the output, we are going to poly. And what happens is that right now, over here, I have just signal that uh, a signal that passed through filter once. However, instead of going to the output, I'm patching it back into merge. And notice that now these cables are polyphonic. So now my signal goes for the second time through poly now, but as voice two goes through the liquid filter, goes out also as voice two and ends, ends up being here. So again, instead of going out, I'm going back into voice three and now voice three goes here, goes out and appears here. And I can keep going uh, like this. What I like doing is separating them into two lanes because this way um, everything seems cleaner. And then you do this kind of shoelace. Uh, you just keep going. Um, it looks a little bit like shoelace uh, pattern. And we're going here and now nine goes over here and over here and we keep going we keep going we keep going and then finally we have our signal over here by the way uh, we can also monitor the original signal after only one pass from here. So you can tap any of these and have different sound. Um, and you can compare what is happening. By the way, 
very interesting trick is to park <laughs> to park this um, this cutoff frequency somewhere let's say around 1k and then you can sweep VCO underneath it's, it's a really beautiful fact listen to this Um, and that's it. You can uh, replace any filter here. You just have to watch out because a lot of filters um, will, uh, even, th even this one, you can see that if you change resonance, um, the, the gain changes on the filter. So very often it's a typical behavior of Moog filters, for example, that when you increase resonance, the gain goes down on other frequencies. Um, so in this case you would have to compensate somehow right, so right now it's it's actually fine by the way notice how much steeper we are on this filter so this is a technique that this technique allows you to take this filter and, and make it to this extreme slope here um, but if you if we now increase resonance you see for a moment we're, we're losing gain and then we we're going back with those peaks so in this case you would have to add some kind of gain module on the way it could be as simple as a mixer and um, and we just simply adjust that over here <laughs> And there's also another uh, little trick you can use. What if, what if we w would like to adjust the slope here in real time? Well, there are objects, uh, there are switches, and some of them have that cross-fading um, extra thing. And this scanner is really nice from Hattrick. So let's say we're taking signal from the first four output because I think they will matter the most remember we have some kind of law of diminishing returns here so I have I'm, I'm, I'm tapping at different points here and then we're going through the output let's increase mix to match that original sound and notice that now we can scan through these different stages so as I go forward notice what happens over here my filter becomes much much steeper and it's very interesting that when two of them are are mixed we have some cancellations of certain frequencies which might be actually interesting and you can even exaggerate if you increase this width here notice that it's what a beautiful sound <laughs> so you know liquid filter and now we are doing whatever we want with the sound of it and notice that they with different width different different stages and scanning through that you can really design your own sound this is not how liquid filter is supposed to sound so it's a lot of fun as you can see so anyway um, that's it and just remember um, this is just a simple loop over here whatever you put between these two modules it's up to you you can you know you can design your own chains of distortions filters that are supposed to host 16 um, signals at the same time in other words everything that you put here between these two modules will transform your sound 16 times um, and I think it's pretty cool I'm sure there are thousands of possibilities and undiscovered sounds this way so anyway I hope you enjoyed it and that's that's it for today thank you